in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 are we there hallelujah amen yes amen. the spirit of god is pushing me to emphasize something here as we are here guys there are certain practices you guys were lured to do in the past which is not of god hallelujah some of you um the mistakes you made in the past because of lack of knowledge delayed you from reaching your destiny hallelujah some of you the practices that they load you to do stop you from leaving god's best hallelujah i'm talking about adultery i'm talking about doing certain practices uh, uh incestuary practices i'm talking about uh you know doing things and 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 some ways do, do you know that there there's been some people from who read the bible goes to church and practice witchcraft from the bible <laughs> do you understand they will take and take certain soil from certain places and put this and this and put the anointing oil and mix it and 
All those practices are witchcraft practices. Guys, I prepared other things, but God is emphasizing in these practices. You are here. This is the time. If you have those things in your house, get rid of those things. And when you repent, repent sincerely from the bottom of your heart. Oh, Salvation, blessings comes only to who? Jesus Christ. To the work of the cross. Nothing else. Nothing else. Guys, nothing else. Deliverance comes only in the name of Jesus. Not ancestor, nobody else. We have only one mediator. Who is Jesus Christ? Is the prophet a mediator between you and God? Did I say a prophet? Did I say prophet? No. I said Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? Amen. God Amen. is saying some of you did not leave the best of God. We don't, you don't live in a destiny of God because you took the wrong turn. Be maybe because you were desperate. Maybe because it was lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. You found yourself, it was convenient to sleep with that man for it was convenient and you had sex with him and it delayed you. Hallelujah. But I'm speaking because there's a solution today. God is restoring people. Who is what I'm speaking about it? I wouldn't speak to you if there's no solution to what I'm saying. I'm speaking to you because Jesus has made himself available to restore your life. Jesus has made himself available to deliver you completely in the mighty name of Jesus. So before we go, we continue, I pray for you. Those who have ever practiced any rituals, any practices from even Old Testament, you guys need to text me and repent and talk to me about it. I'm going to pray over you. Hmm? You took salt. I'm, I'm using salt because I know some many people did that here. You use salt and put it in some ways in your corners of your house or surrenders your house or whatever. Um, <laughs> you can't use any physical things to protect your house against the spirit, <laughs> against evil spirit, nothing. Hallelujah. Uh, you can please contact me in the past. Do you understand? If not in the past, after the meeting, you can reach out to me. I'm going to talk with you. I'm going to pray with you. You understand what I'm saying? So we prayed and God has forgiven us. Let me pray for you. If you prayed from the bottom of your heart, the Lord has restored you. The Lord has forgiven you. Who believe that? Amen. 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 If we prayed, we open. Repentance is when you make a decision also to leave that thing, to leave masturbation, to leave that, to walk out of that house. You know the words I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for each and everyone who accepted to give their lives to you, to repent and turn from the wicked ways, turn from the past, Father, and follow you in righteousness and holiness, Father. Pray over them, Father. Let your blood sanctify them. Let your blood, Lord, purify them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every door which was opened to their mistakes, to the past, Father, I close it in the name of Jesus. Father, as those evil spirits are going out, let the Spirit of God take over their lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, begin the process of restoring them. Some did not go better. Lord, restore their lives in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. the blood of the Lamb, which was shed on the cross of Calvary, or Rabadoska, the Bible says in the past, the Bible says in the Bible that the blood of Abel cried out to God. How much more the blood of Jesus? If the blood of Abel cried out so loud that God could, could hear the, the sound of the blood, how much more the blood of Jesus? For let your blood today cry out for your children who have been are killed, brought in bondage, Father, in slavery because of their mistakes. Let your blood, Father, set them free, sanctify them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let their body be sanctified. Let their mind be sanctified. 
Let the heart be sanctified in the name of Jesus. But the Bible declares, the Bible says, the time of refreshing comes after her repentance. Father, let it begin to restore them, begin to refresh their life, begin to refresh their heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ibaros. Thank you, Jesus. Who among you, you experience some attacks when you go to sleep at night? You experience some quite of a lot of attacks when you go to sleep. In your dreams, um, you experience quite a lot, a lot of attacks. Who? I, who I, here I, among us? I also Just put have your hands up. Already. Yes. Mm. I want to see your hands up. Yes, I'm seeing six people. Yeah. You experience a lot of attacks in your dreams, a lot of attacks. Uh, okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So now I'm putting, now we're not going to teach you, we're going to pray. <laughs> we're going to pray. I wanted to teach, and now we're going to deal with those those things. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, so the Lord is revealing to me, you, some of you has, has, have been experienced those attacks because of certain doors that you opened in your life. And some some of you, it's not like you open the door. It's um, the practices, your familiar practices, the things that you used to do in your family, the things that they did in your family, expose you to those open doors. Hallelujah! Are we together? Are you guys listening what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now, we're closing those doors in the mighty name of mm -hmm. Jesus, we mm -hmm. closing every opportunity of the enemy, every access they had over your life. I don't want you to, okay, let me put every hands down. I want to ask somebody, who among us, you can just put your hand, uh, son of hand, who among us, when you go to sleep, you dream you're sleeping with a man, you're sleeping with somebody. If you're a man, you're sleeping with a, a, a woman, or if you're a woman, you're sleeping with a man, and things like that. Who experiences that? Yes, you go to sleep, yes, you go to sleep, and you find yourself having sex in your sleep, in your dreams. And when you wake up in the morning, you can even see sign that you had sex. Okay. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to pray. We're going to pray tonight against that. So, guys, the prayer we're going to do now is you, you're renouncing. Hallelujah. You're renouncing from any... Um, because the Lord was saying this. Any spiritual attacks, sometimes over your life, those who you see in your dreams, those who have access in your life, in somehow either they were invited by you or they were invited by certain covenant in your bloodline, in your family, or by the mistakes you made and gave them access. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Romans then that if you confess with your mouth and you believe, then the Lord's going to be, the Jesus going to be your Lord and Savior. That 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 the code of the realm of the spirit, every evil spirit out there, for them to come and to enter your life, as somehow you need to invite them. Hallelujah! They need to be invited. As somehow, some 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 of you innocent, I believe that, but they were invited by the practices done in your family. You are from a family where they are they they are engaged in traditions. Uh, burning things, incense, burning things in the house and things like that. They invited those spirits in your family, in your life. You didn't choose them. Some of you had so many sexual partners in the past. Remember when I, I thought about soul ties? And those sexual partners had different dealings, spiritual dealings in their lives. And you connected, once you become one of them, you connected to their lives. And they, therefore, it's opened other doors upon your life. There's other access upon your life of the enemy. Are you guys understanding how, how, how interesting it is? If you wondered, I was, I was, I was preaching today, if you wondered that you attract, if you are a lady, you, are, you attract only certain kind of men. Since you, if you check your record, of dating, you, you attract only certain kind of men. Or every man you meet, when they meet you, it's either they sleep with you and they leave. 
whether how good they seem. Some of you even dated the man of God. You see, this is a man of God. But when he, he met you, he did the same thing that other people did. Guys, that's not normal. It's like there's a law. But any man, when he approaches you, there's like a law, there's like a demon came upon them to abuse you. Hallelujah. Today we're breaking those things. Today we're breaking those things. It's like in a spiritual, spiritual realm, they put, they, they put an antenna of any, uh, any man who should come after you or any woman should come after you. There have to be certain kind of way to make you suffer in a certain way or the other. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying here? So you're renouncing. Some of you, maybe the company will be made to your family, uh, made maybe to your, uh, your mom, your dad, your grandfathers, or whatever. You're renouncing. Say, Father, I reject, I renounce any covenant, any agreement I might have made or they might have made in my family, I was not away with of. I renounce it in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, why are we renouncing? The Bible says when Jesus died, we became part of the family of Christ Jesus. We became part of the DNA of Jesus Christ. You are no longer part of DNA of, uh, let me use somebody's um, last name. Let me use somebody's last name. Whose name? Okay, I'll use my own. I'm no longer part of the DNA of Colombos. I became part of DNA of Christ. Are you guys listening? So I renounce any demonic spirit controlling Colombo's family. I renounce from any dealings which were done before I was born. I renounce. We started. We studying. We started our prayer uh, with confessing our sins. Why? We needed God to forgive us because those spirits we had access in our lives sometimes because of our own doing, because of certain sins in our lives. Hallelujah. Are you guys ready to pray? Oh, somebody has a question before we pray. Are you guys ready to pray? Thank you, Jesus. So you're praying our oh, first prayer. Say, Father, I renounce any door which was open in my life, whether I was aware of, whether I was not. I close it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabadosh Kapaya. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, we thank you, we worship you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I every door, I have been Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every door which was open. Lord, I'm not 
in the name of Jesus amen hallelujah I want us to to read a uh, dangerous scripture we're gonna pray by that scripture hallelujah there's a scripture the spirit of God is putting in my heart in the, it's in the book of first Corinthians 6 somebody go can, can go there please first Corinthians 6 19 to 20 first Corinthians 6 19 to 20 can somebody go there please okay I read the scripture. okay go. yes first Corinthians 6 mm -hmm. 19 to 20 yes it says do you not know that your body is a temple of the holy spirit amen is in you mm -hmm. and you have from god you are not your own mm -hmm. you were bought at a price. therefore mm -hmm. honor god honor god honor god with your body amen amen god bless you sister teresa god bless you i want to read another version i want us to have an understanding before we pray this prayer who else has another version which version sister teresa is that New, new huh? which, new which version? Ah, okay god bless you yes uh mr roland you can read your version yes so uh, this is actually new king james yes yes first corinthians chapter number six from verse yeah. 19 and 20 i read mm -hmm. what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost yes which is in you which ye mm -hmm. have of god and ye mm -hmm. are not your own for mm -hmm. ye are bought with a price therefore mm -hmm. glorify god in your body and amen. in your spirit which are god's amen so guys i'm gonna share a little bit because we don't have much time but those who are joining joining us in fasting we're gonna teach on corinthians first corinthians 6 we're gonna teach a lot in first corinthians verse 6. we're gonna teach those who are joining us in prayer, we're going to teach First Corinthians. But I want to point something as we're praying. Uh, some dangerous prayer the Lord is showing us. Uh, someone wants to join, but I can't see them. Uh, okay, let me give me a second. Okay, yeah, let me let me then. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I want us to, um, as I was saying, uh, those who are going to join us on fasting are going to teach more into First Corinthians verse six. We're going to go details by details but i want to share certain things because we're praying right the bible says you do not know that your body is the temple of the holy ghost right so meaning 
as long as your body is the temple of God, you must not sleep, you must not dream you sleep somebody coming sleeping with you. As long as your body is the temple of God, nobody should come and visit you and touch your body when you're sleeping. Are you guys understand what I'm saying? Because it belongs to God. That's what the Bible says. Guys, we're gonna live by scripture. If my body belongs to God, which demon can touch it anymore? No demon can touch it because it belongs to God. Hallelujah. So now, some of you, the enemy has access to your body because it was defiled. Why? Because the Spirit of God is holy. The Spirit of God does not share with nobody. Once other forces comes, he leaves. And it's defiled. Do you understand? Some of you, certain things you did, it defiled the body of Christ. You went to uh, some witch doctor and they put some marking on your body. They put some marking on your hand and your forehead. And they defiled your body and it ceased to be the, the temple of the Holy Ghost. You went and, 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 and bathed into the salt. You went and had sex outside marriage. You went and masturbated. You defiled the body and it's no longer the, the temple of the Holy Ghost. Now, as long as it's no, no longer the temple of the Holy Ghost, sickness can touch it. Because it doesn't belong to God. If you read in the Bible that Jesus was sick and then he says, uh, <laughs> I, have, I have stomach ache. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. No. <laughs> Jesus did not, was not sick. Hallelujah. Because he had the fullness of the presence of God upon him. So some of you, we're going to certain attacks. Uh, uh, a, a demon can come and even touch you, touch your neck, at, touch your neck. <laughs> and you wake up and say, God, I thank you. At least they didn't kill me. If they can touch you, there's something wrong with your body there. Hallelujah. Because your body has been defiled. How do you know that your body has been defiled? Even check the thought process of your mind. What comes to your mind? What what you're thinking sometimes you you're thinking is dirt you're thinking is dirt you can't you, you you can't stop thinking about dirt stuff it's one of the signs that your body has been defiled hallelujah so now it just means i always say we don't deal with symptoms we deal with the root hallelujah we deal with the root cause of things you dream you dream certain way because of the root is what somehow the body has been defiled Somehow a access of the end was given to your life. Somehow a door was opened. Hallelujah. Yes, you had sex at some marriage. You repented, but you didn't close the door. <laughs> hey, can I hear somebody? You repented, but the door was not closed. Reason when you're sitting on your chair, you think about that man. Ooh, you feel like you're having sex again. <laughs> because the door was not closed. You already repented. The door was still open. If I bet, if that lady or that man comes back to you, you're going to fall again. Why? Well, because the door was not closed. Your body was still defiled. You had some, a call, what you call, a wake up call, religious wake up call. You're like, oh, I, had, I sinned. I oh, got forgive me, forgive me. But the, the door was not closed. So what we do, this prayer we're doing now is this. The first prayer you're saying, God, let me check my battery first, my battery of my laptop. Uh, at two, out of 32 minutes, now oh, 32 percent. Yeah. So the first thing you say, Father, sanctify my body, sanctify your temple. First Corinthians 6, the verse says, Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And he continues, says, When you go and sleep with an allot, your body becomes one with the allot. And people see it only with uh, sex it only can mean if you go and do certain practices outside god you become one with those practices not god it doesn't mean only sex hallelujah because we have also also spiritual prostitutes who also defile their body by the things they're doing you do certain practices outside god your body, you defiled your body and you became one with that thing you went to seek. Hallelujah. God called many times the Israelites, you prostitute. Why? Because they went and worshiped other God. 
Do you understand? And you praying right as a father, clean my body, sanctify my body in the name of Jesus, sanctify your temple, Lord, clean and sanctify your temple, remove anything from my from your temple which the enemy brought in the name of Jesus. And after I'm gonna we're gonna pray after your body is your temple is being sanctified. What do you do? You invite now the new master to take over. The Bible says, we know the scripture in Matthew. It says, when an evil spirit leave, they go what? They go out, they go and look for a place to rest. If they don't find, they go and collect stronger at the evil spirit. And they say, the situation of that man is going to be worse than before. Which means it's possible that you clean your house, you get delivered, it just goes out, but nobody comes and replaces them. And they'll come back again. It's possible that your situation becoming worse. I prayed for you. I prayed for you two months ago. You were healed. You everything seemed well, and all of a sudden you got even worse now after two months. Which means they came back even worse. Why? Because the spirit went out. Nobody replaced them. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? There is. Are you listening to me? Are everybody listening to me? Mr. Roland, can you hear me? Yes. 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 You do. Yes. You saying, Father, sanctify my, my, your body, sanctify my mind, sanctify me. And after when you pray that I'm not going to end, when you pray that to say, Father, Holy Spirit, come now, take over my mind, come out, take over my, my spirit, come and now, take over me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes you can't conquer certain thought in your mind, certain feeling in your body. You think it's normal. You can't control those because of your body still a little bit defiled. Hallelujah. The Bible says God has given us the power over the body, even the desire of the flesh, the power over flesh. Are you ready to pray? Please put your microphone on it. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, sanctify this Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
We keep on praying, we keep on praying, we keep on praying. Those who are praying in tongues, the Spirit of God wants you now to pray with word. Hallelujah. Pray with word. Hallelujah. Pray with word. Express yourself unto the Lord with your word. Hallelujah. Amen. Cry to him. Lord, sanctify me. Father, purify me. Cry unto him. I think that will be our last praise. Those who those who are gonna be joining us for fasting are gonna call you guys in call on WhatsApp after we finish this prayer. And I'm gonna give you the program because my laptop is gonna go off. I want you to pray with your word, Lord, sanctify me. Purify me. It's not normal. You are a Christian who's struggling with the things you're struggling with. It's not normal. 
it's not normal it's not normal you are a christian you can't sleep because of certain things happen it's not normal how can a temple of god leave the things that you're living how can the temple of God have in that spirit, in that mind, the things that goes on in your, in your mind? Pray to God. Let's pray. Put your microphone up. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray to God. Say, Father, in your word, Lord, sanctify me with your word. Purify me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lord, sanctify us. Lord, purify us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the Bible says, with our sanctification and holiness, nobody going to see you. Lord, sanctify our heart. Sanctify our mind. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to be sanctified. Father, we want to be purified. In the name of Jesus. Sanctify our body. Sanctify our mind. Sanctify our heart. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want our body to be truly your death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we cry out to you. Father, sanctify us. Each one of us. Let us be sanctified. Let us sing our Rados Keba. Let us be purified. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sanctify us. Sanctify our heart. Sanctify our mind. Lord, in the name of Jesus, sanctify, Lord, each and everyone in this place. Let our heart be sanctified. Let our mind be sanctified. Let our lives be sanctified. In the name of Jesus, Father, you say in your word, in first Corinthians, it belongs to you. That my body is your temple. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you sanctify each and everyone. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that to sanctify each and everyone in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Father, sanctify your people. Lord, purify your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rabadosha ya baruski ya ba, Rakende le doske pe ya ba. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says when we pray, you believe that you are sanctified. It's it's faith. It's the action of faith. You believe that the Lord has forgiven you. You believe that the Lord has, has sanctified you. You believe that your mind is pure. Hallelujah. Who believe that is righteous now? Amen. Who believe that they are sanctified? 
Hallelujah. 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 Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We we are now the righteous of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank we are now the righteous of God. Do that you. now. Now you're taking charge over your body, your life. Now. Yes, God. Thank I want you to begin now to cast out any foreign, hallelujah, any evil spirit, mm. any spirit which is not of God. It's a foreign spirit in your life. Mm. It's a foreign spirit in your body. It's a foreign spirit in your family. Anything, any spirit which is not of God, begin now. Now you have the authority. Mm. Hallelujah. Now Amen. you have the authority. Of to be delivered now, you taking charge, you praying with all your heart, taking charge as a father. I'm casting out every spirit which does not confess your name, any spirit which is not of you in the name of Jesus. Now, cast them out of your life, cast them out of your body, cast them out of your family in the name of Jesus. Even if, if you're sick, before you join us, you were sick, you had some pain in your body. Uh, there's somebody you were you you you, you feel sometimes. Uh, pain in this in the chest area, some pain in chest area. Now you declare, you cast that pain out. Out. Yes, you casting out. You feel pain. Who feel pain on the chest? Thank you, Jesus. Who feel the pain on their chest? Yes, Martha, it's you. Yes. Now you now you commanding that pain to go out to leave you. Now you have the authority to Christ Jesus. You declare, that, guys. One of the secrets of deliverance is authority. You believe when you speak. You have faith in Jesus. And you command. Hallelujah. You speak into your life. You commanding any foreign spirit, anything in your life, Amen. which was not supposed to be there. Amen. You casting it. You taking charge. Amen. Are you guys listening? Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. You've suffered for too long. You've entertained that lifestyle for too long. Amen. But enough is enough. Pray and command it. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. in my in the name of 
Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen to me now. There's two things I want to pray for. If you think you are sick, you've been under pain for a long time, for many, many, for a long, long time. You are under some pain for a long, long time. I want you to show me a sign of your hand and be on camera. I'm going to pray for you. There's a miracle which is about to happen in your life. You've been in pain. Yes. You've been in pain. You've been sick for a long time. I'm seeing the first end. I see you. Yes. I see two end. I see three end. Yes. Who else? Yes. Yes. I'm seeing Tina. Yes. You've been in pain for a long, long time. No matter how much you pray, that pain somehow still there. Hallelujah. Now I'm praying for you today. It's going now. Hallelujah. There's atmosphere. There's a the presence of God is here. And you're being delivered. You're being healed now. And as I'm going to be praying, you touch the part where the pain is in your body. Hallelujah. You touch where the pain is. Some of you, you are in the, in the house where there's somebody who is sick with you in the house. Yes. You, the Lord says, go and touch them. Touch, lay your hand on them as I'm praying right now. Let me pray now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I cast out any pain in the body right now. In the name of Jesus, Ratos Keba. But from today on, the Spirit of God begins to take over the body. And every pain is leaving the body right now in the name of Jesus. You headache, you stomach ache, you heart problem, you pain, sickness in the body, you stomach ache, I cast you out in the life in the name of Jesus. You sickness, you heart problem, uh, you spirit of infirmity, I cast you out. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out, Ikaparoskapa. Out. They belong to Jesus. They belong to Jesus. The body belongs to Jesus. From today on, go and never come back again. Never come back again in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Father, I cast every evil spirit to minding your people right now. I cast it out. I declare them healed. I declare them restored. In the name of Jesus. Libaros kapala de keaba. Libratos kapala de keaba. Rekando libaros kepeaba. Libre koto libarados keba. Let the Father Holy Ghost, Father, begin to fall on them, burning out every sickness, closing the door which was opened. In the name of Jesus. Ratos kapala keba. Now it's happening now. Some of you are being touched right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you are being touched right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabados kepeaba. In the name of Jesus. Begin to check. If there were pain, begin to check. Ratos keaba. If you are feeling pain, uh, uh, okay, you can, put your, you can put now your hands down. I want to check those who have been touched. Please, please put your hand down now. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hand down. Yeah. Who felt the pain left them? Oh, put your hands up. You don't feel the pain anymore. Yes, Martha, God bless you. Yes, you don't feel the pain anymore. Put your hands up. You don't see your pain anymore. Put your hands up. You don't feel the pain. So some of you still feel the pain. Yes, you still feel the pain. Oh, okay, let me put your microphone on. Let me put a microphone on. I'm going to hear. Okay, let me trust the microphone on. I can hear some of you. Today, all the pain is going to be gone in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, Talia, how do you feel on your crown, on your head? How do you feel? I still feel that uh, burning sensation. Wait. W which part of your, your, right your head? Right in the okay. middle. Right in the middle. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray and we're going to cast it out now in the name of Jesus. Who else? Yes. Who else still feel the pain? I want to. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. And you tell me where the pain is. Let's let's lay low. Yes. I, Pastor, my I feel the pain in my stomach today. My stomach was just like upset, so I still feel an ease. Yeah, it, it started today. Yes. 
Okay. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Who else? Who else? Yeah, Tina. Tina, speak, please. How are you feeling? I still feel happy in my uh, right uh, side. Right side? You feel how on the right side? It's it's heavy. I have a pain since they did the operation last year. Okay, on the right side of your your stomach. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna pray over that as well. We're praying all those things. I want you guys to see how God gonna touch them. How God gonna touch them tonight in the name of Jesus. Who else yeah. is feeling the pain again? Who else? Teresa, I saw your hand sometimes. I saw your hand. Can you speak? Um, it's just um pain in my lower back. And, Your lower um, back, yes. Yeah, that I have with my legs. Okay, and your legs. Okay, we're gonna pray. Who else feel the pain? Jonathan, I saw your end. You were like when we pray, I saw your end. Sorry, I just I didn't know what was I raised my hand for. Ah, uh, okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Sorry. Yes, it's all right. I saw the one is the ones the one is end. So, Pastor, it's not the long-standing pain from that medical condition that's gone. But last week, when we that incident happened, my back started hurting. So, okay, which upper back, like thoracic and upper, so uh, mid okay. back and up. Yeah. You say, please explain. You're saying when? Last week, when um, Tally and I were going through that fight. Yeah. Yeah. Got back. Yes, I started okay. having back pain. Yes back pain okay now we're praying right now there's somebody else also is feeling the pain somebody else so i think I've, I've covered all of them there's somebody else if somebody make sure you show yourself we're gonna pray god is touching each and everyone tonight yes lord i yeah i saw the end of of williams williams are you feeling okay now williams yes, yes Pastor. You, you feel, you're feeling you're feeling okay yeah yeah we thank jesus we thank jesus yeah. yes some of you were left in pain we're praying now in the mighty name of jesus you're taking charge you're touching where the pain is <laughs> hallelujah and jesus is going to touch you where the pain is and he's going to heal you the presence of god is here the healer is here hallelujah amen you believe the healer is here amen you're putting your microphone on we're praying we're casting that pain out we pass you saying father restore my body his presence is here the healer the lord is here hallelujah the lord is here the lord the walk of miracles is here and is ready to touch each one of you and you will not gonna hold back i want you to present yourself in his presence like that woman who had issue of blood yes. the bible says she had she had a faith in her heart that if only I can touch even a little part of the garment of the Lord, I shall be healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is here. Yes. I want you to grow up on the Lord as we're praying right now. You pray right now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Every pain is going out in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Every sickness is going mm -hmm. out in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your body is being restored mm -hmm. to the fullness mm -hmm. under presence Thank in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those who are uh, like Lola, who you eat you. Have stomach ache. Those who have stomach ache, Thank grab you. a glass of water. Those Thank who have you. internally pain, grab Thank a glass you. of water. Those who have internally, it's internally, it's in that, in, internally, grab Thank a glass of, of water. Rabadoshka, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, any sickness in this place, Lord, I in the name of Jesus, Rabadoshka, Lord, I present to the Lord a healer. The name of Jesus, Lord, your name is blessed. Whoever I call upon the name of the Lord shall be healed, shall be delivered. Father, I call upon your name, all my healing, everyone, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, 
touch them in the name of Jesus. Touch them in the name of Jesus. But I touch them in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch them in Bato's Touch them in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them let me go in the name of Jesus. Let them let me go in the name of Jesus. Because you are standing over Rados. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Father, we magnify you. Ask you that you are the healer, you are the restorer, and the deliverer. Father, we magnify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now begin to check where the pen was. Begin to check in the name of Jesus. Check, check, even press. Check, Tanya, check. If they're still there, check. All of you check, begin to check. Begin to check. Begin to check. <laughs> that one, you can stand, stand, that one, stand and make some movement. Stand and make some movement. Begin to check. Begin to check. Uh, uh, um, Therese, you can stand. You can stand on your feet and make some movement. Uh, Talia, you can also make touch where the pen was. Everybody, check. Lola, take a glass of water and try to drink the glass of water. I have it faster. Yes, yes, just drink it. Just drink it. Just drink the last glass of water. Just drink it in the mighty name of Jesus. Come again. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do, start doing the things that you couldn't do before. Start doing them. Start doing the movement you couldn't do before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can yeah. can we put our microphone on and just praise Jesus? Can we begin to praise Jesus? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise thank Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. Guys, guys, for God to perfect what he has done, he touched you. Make sure you send a testimony. Hallelujah. To encourage others, the things that God is doing. Send a testimony. And the Lord has touched, the Lord has healed. Send a testimony to encourage others that God heals and God delivers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes. Amen. So now that's where we landing our service tonight.
Thank you, yes, God bless you all. Remember, a little bit of announcement. We have a WhatsApp group. Those who are not there, we have a WhatsApp group. Make sure that you join us there. Make sure that you join us there. Hallelujah. And from tonight, we're starting a fasting. Prayer and fasting from tonight. It will be two days prayer and fasting. Who, who is here going to join us in fasting? Put your hand on. Who is here going to join us? Yes. One, two, three, four. Yes. Five. Yes. 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 I'm seeing six. Yes. 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 A lot of people are joining us into the fasting. So, guys, you're drinking only water. You're drinking a lot of water, but you're not eating. Okay. Uh, those we are, we, we've opened a group, especially for those who are fasting. If you're not in the group, make sure reach out. We're gonna put you in the group, and they are gonna be giving you programs for prayers. Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be giving you programs for prayers tomorrow. Uh, we're starting the prayer tomorrow morning. I know that we have different timing. I know some we have two hours different, some we have eight hours, some we have six hours. But I'll send I'll send the program in the group and we're gonna okay. pray and we're gonna advance till the end of the fasting on Sunday. On the end of the fasting uh, on Sunday, um I'm gonna announce what um normally we finish with the table of the Lord, we finish with uh communion. Uh but the rest the announcement are gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, once we finish this prayer, I'm gonna give you a call in our WhatsApp group, and I'll give you every details. Any question concerning that? Um, no, I'm okay. You okay? No question. No. Yes. Yeah. So who is not in the group in that that group of of uh, of fasting? Who is not in the group? So uh, we all in the group, right? Okay. See end. Uh, yeah, who's not in a group? We all in group. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm not in the group. Oh. Okay, yeah, who's okay? I'm gonna okay. Can you say, can, can I speak? Can you speak again? I can't see you. You said who's not in the group? It's I'm not in the group, bit, but I'm not yeah. in the group. Yes, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you. Oh, but I bet you're in the group, the, the mentorship group. You are there. Oh, yes, that's a, okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, and uh, yeah, uh, Mutanga also going to put you in the group as we're finishing right now, and then I'll call those who are in the group and I'll give you instruction. We're fasting from tonight till Sunday. So, God bless you all. God bless those who join us for the first time. Uh, God bless you, those who invited yeah. others. Continue inviting people in our group. In our group, God is doing wonders and miracles are happening in the mighty name of Jesus. So, mm -hmm. let me pray for you. And I will leave you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for each and every one right now. Lord, be with them. Some who's, who are going to sleep right now, speak to them in their dreams. Reveal to them things, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare victory over their lives. I declare that they shall see your hand in their lives. I declare that they shall walk in the power and authority from today on. Yes. I declare a new season where they shall see your hand in their lives. In yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. amen. 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 Yes. Amen. God bless you all and bye. 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 bye.